Dog, I'm recording you today. <laughs> they can't do anything. I can shoot a dog right in front of them, barbecue it, and eat it, and they could not do anything. It's called animal cruelty. Yes, here. They can't, and no, it's not. It's not cool to shoot a dog. It should be. People do it all the time. So, so you're saying that you want to show you to adopt one? Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. That'd be and fine. And you, you want me to give you five minutes? minutes? So they will not say anything. I can't say anything. It's meant to be fresh. They, they call the cops. They, they can't say anything. Right. Right. Cops can't say anything. I, I can shoot a dog. The only, the only thing you can do, like, if you're shooting off a fire alarm in city limits, they may get you on something like that. But if it's legal where you're at to shoot off a, a weapon, you can shoot a dog. And eat a whole time. All right, Mr. Cooper, you ready? Oh, you ready? Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's, let's, let's rock and roll. Uh, good evening, Professor Johnson and classmates of Calm One. Last last speech. Yeah, give yourselves a hand. Yeah! 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 Hey, uh, my name is Aaron Cooper, and uh, it's an honor to uh, stand here before you today and give you a plethora of information on an issue that's near and dear to my heart, and uh, I'm sure after this conversation today uh, that it will be in yours as well, that smaller <laughs> class sizes are amazing. Uh, that's what we'll be talking about today. I've done extensive research on smaller class sizes, and I've discovered that, uh, one, students receive more individual attention from teachers in a smaller class size. Uh, two, teachers have great order, or a greater order, in classrooms that have a smaller class size. And of course, three, uh, there are greater opportunities for class discussion and small group work in a smaller class size. Now, now when, I, when I think about the positive impact that a smaller class size can have, my mind keeps coming back to our class, COM1. Uh, I, I, I think about when we started. We started back in August, and uh, we were 30 plus, 30 deep up in here. You know, uh, and uh, we, we didn't really take the time to get to know each other. We weren't really talking to each other. Uh, and it was Professor Johnson doing all of the talking. Um, and it seems like we just all wanted to blend into the large class environment and just wait for it to get over. And, you know, that never showed as much as when we had our first assignment. When we had our first assignment, uh, instead of gelling together, many of the students dropped the class. Uh, regardless of how it affected the professor and the remaining students here. Our class size went from 30 plus to, what, what are we at, 14? 15. 15. But, but, but ha have no fear, which according to the graph, if you look at this graph right here, yeah, I wanted to use this right here. If, <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the graph right here, uh, you'll notice that that graph shows that we are right in the middle of the class size that has the highest test scores for doing well in class, on standardized tests, and on scholarship exams. And I'm sure we can all agree that uh, we won't mind getting a higher grade or score on any exams, right? Oh. Um, which, right, right, which, which brings me to my first point. Uh, it also gets more attention from our professors. We get more attention from them. In a small class environment, we can have more time with the professors to get items explained and establish a better rapport with them than we ever could have in that 30 plus class. Uh, we probably wouldn't have gotten any emails back or got some of the leeway that we had if we were such a large class. Uh, boardteachers.com, yes, that is the website, states that this one-on-one -on -one time with a professor inspires students, and the professor takes on a role of more than just another teacher, but a genuine role model um, that can be trusted. And in this day and age, let's be honest, we all need more of that and less drama, right? Less drama, which leads me to my next point. Teachers have greater order in the class room that has a smaller class size. Now, nine out of ten times, there's, there's always a knucklehead in the classroom. Someone that wants to disrupt the class, uh, cause the teacher some stress. Yeah, you, if you don't know what it is, it's probably you. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, uh, and, and the teacher, they, they want to stress the teach out and stop the creative juice from flowing forward. Um, a smaller class size can prevent the knucklehead from taking over the class. Instead, it'll make him or her open up the books and get down to business when Really, really think about it. In the long run, he'll probably wind up uh, thanking the teacher for it because he doesn't have to take the class for the fifth time. 
Big time. Y'all get that later. Y'all get that later. <laughs> now, as a matter of fact, the Seattle Times states that it's harder for a couple of troublemakers in the back of the room to derail the class um, when they don't have to, a place to hide in the crowd. Yeah. Small class sizes let everyone know that it's time for, uh, really, time out for hiding and running from education. Smaller class sizes like this one, right, tells everyone that you're now being held accountable to go get a better way of life, which includes a solid education. Uh, and that brings me to my third point on why small class sizes are awesome. Uh, there are greater opportunities <laughs> for class discussions and small group work in smaller class sizes. Now, in a class of 30 plus students, if, it, it seems that it's always someone that is bound to get lost or drift away. Uh, and it's not that that cannot happen in a small class size, it's just that it's more prevalent and uh, to happen in a larger class. Um, this is partly due to the class uh, will be able to have small group work going on. This will direct the student to participate rather than zoning out. We know about that zoning out uh, and going into a corner. Per the boardteachers.com, again, small classes will allow the student to engage in group discussion that will help form bonds with others. Uh, and in my opinion, this will create a long-term effect that will help our community gel as well. Now, as I close, I touched on small class uh, classes are awesome because students receive more individual attention from the teachers. Teachers have greater order in the classroom, and there are wonderful opportunities for glass class discussion. Uh, we, here in column one, have experienced all of this and more right in this small class. We've been able to get to know the Renaissance man and allow him to know us, right? Uh, we've sparked great discussion, dicey debates, and big laughs right here in this class. Uh, we shared each other's pains, making it our own. And through it all, we've molded it into a true story in this small class. So column one, bigger is not always better. Someone once said, big things come in small packages, like this small class, where these good people are going to do great things because they started off small. Please do. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let me point at this again. Did you guys see this? Did y'all see that right there? Let me point at it again. All right. Come on. All right. Next. I like it. Oh, Thank you. Let's go, Amber. Oh, there you go, my girl. Let's go.